So why are these mammals glowing? Do you have any ideas? If you do, put them in the comments below. Scientists have a few. But first, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. They believe it's for protection or communication. Say hi, Sari! Hi, Sari! After this amazing discovery that they made, as good scientists, they had to do some verification. So, there are three different species of platypuses in a museum in Chicago. They drove out to test them, and guess what? It turns out that they all glowed. This is crazy. And yes, mines have been blown. The word spread about glowing platypuses all the way to scientists in Australia. Now, they're interested in this, and they start testing their own platypuses. And guess what? They can glow too. So we have flying squirrels that glow, platypuses that glow. What's next? Obviously, we have to test all the other mammals to see if they glow too. So this is when everything really goes off the rails. Bilbies, an endangered animal that is a marsupial. It kind of looks like a bunny. They found out that it's biofluorescent in orange and green colors. On top of that, the quills of hedgehogs and porcupines are biofluorescent with white. So guess what? Sonic has a new superpower. He's also biofluorescent. I think you have something that belongs to me. So the news continued to travel, and some guys at the Toledo Zoo wanted to see if there's any more animals that glow. So there are two little guys that live at the zoo, Spider-Man and Bubbles. They put them under the light, and guess what? They're biofluorescent. So add Tasmanian devils to the list of glowing animals. Things change really fast. Just a month ago, we did an episode on Tasmanian devils, and we didn't even know they were biofluorescent then. But that's the great thing about science. There's always more to discover. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys for subscribing. Make sure you come back for some more cool videos.